Well, welcome explorers. My name is Dr. O.C. Anna, and this is my diver, I am seasick. We're glad you've come to join us here in the Pacific Ocean. Learning about all the Earth's ocean is really important. How much of the Earth do you think is covered in water? Maybe 60, maybe 70? The ocean plays a very important role in sustaining our life here on Earth. Much of God's creation lives in the ocean and provides us with food, energy, and medicines. Let's see how many creatures you can think of that live in the ocean. We'll brainstorm a list for you. There's whales. Sharks. Turtles. Jellyfish. Oh, and Nemo's. And Dory's. Don't forget about Dory. Oh, cool. That was awesome. But now we're going to see how many you can name in the comments below. Go ahead and have your parents or you go ahead and type in all the different sea animals that you can think of. And ready, set, go! Today's story takes place in Capernaum. Jesus and the disciples had just arrived there. When one of the local tax collectors saw Peter, he said to them, Peter, he said, I have something to tell you. What's that? Peter asked. Jesus needs to pay the temple tax. I'll talk to him about it, said Peter. As Peter headed toward the place they were staying, he wondered what Jesus would say. Peter knew they didn't have the money to pay the tax. When he saw Jesus, Peter told him about what the tax collector had said. Peter had seen Jesus do big things, like healing people. But could he provide the little things too, like tax money? Jesus thought a minute, then spoke to Peter. What do you think Jesus said? I know, I know. Can I help you tell the story? <laughs> Why, who are you? Willoughby P. Fish at your service. Well, Mr. Willoughby, what brings you here? Well, I heard you were telling the Bible story of Peter and the fish. And I am a fish historian. So, I thought I could help you tell the story, if that's okay with you, of course. Well, of course, that's fine. Now, back to the story. Do you know, Willoughby, what Jesus told people Peter to do? Jesus told Peter to, to, to go fishing. Oh, how I hate that word. It has been the loss of so many of my good friends. I'm sorry to hear that. But your answer is right. Jesus told Peter to go fishing. Have you ever gone fishing when you needed money? Well, Jesus wanted to show Peter in a special way that he could provide whatever Peter needed, even if it seemed so small. So Peter headed to the lake and... He began to fish. And soon he, he... Oh, I don't think I can say it. Will you help me? He caught a fish. Such a great fish he was. Yes, he was. But when Peter opened the fish's mouth, he found... Just enough money to pay the temple tax. Jesus had provided just what Peter needed. And when he provided for your needs too, he will provide for your needs too. You might not find what you need in the fish's mouth, but Jesus has promised to provide all of your needs if we will trust him. Thank you, Willoughby. Thank you for your help. Oh, you're most welcome. Ha ha. I need to be swimming on. Nice to have met you. Nice to have met you too, Willoughby.